So welcome to another episode of Ask Adobe Easy. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question I get asked a lot, and this is about Premiere Pro. Where are all my presets? This question has been asked to me so many times. A lot of people are confused. Is it my computer? Is it my software? And I'll give you guys the answer right now. It's Adobe. So the more reading I've done, it has to do with the Creative Cloud. It's a very easy answer. Just stop messing around with the software. For this issue in particular, you guys offer so many solutions to fix the problem. But what happens is, is that it's your problem because you're telling us to do fresh installs, deactivate the software, reactivate the software, restart the computer, do a backflip, you know, <laughs> jump through hoops. Just finish the software complete when you're done with it and then offer it for sale. But you can't ship the software without an MPEG export. Come on guys. I mean, please. And a lot of people in your forums are telling you guys just offer an update. You updated Adobe Media Encoder CS6 and what happened after that? It's gone. So you already had to go through this once. I think you should relook at this and try to get the Creative Cloud away from interacting with the software automatically. I uninstalled After Effects and Premiere Pro and then I did a fresh install and reactivated the software. What else was I going to do? Some of the workarounds Adobe offers are just their workarounds and they didn't work for me. So I'll post a link in the description to show you those kind of things where you can read more about this. And for all the people who are asking me, hey, is it my computer? No. It's Adobe, it's their software, they need to fix it, it's glitchy. So besides the Adobe Media Encoder update, you also need the Adobe Premiere Pro update. And this goes for After Effects too. And then you should have your export to MPEG and you should have the software running like it should be. For Adobe not to handle this on their own is pretty ridiculous. You owe it to the people who use your software to provide a good product and just send the updates easily and provide better information. No offense to you guys, but really, even on your Facebook fan page, you know a lot of people have questions and stop pushing them to your forum. If someone has a question for you on Facebook, answer the question. It's not me because I don't even bother asking you questions on Facebook because I know what you guys are going to do. But you know what? It's 2012. Answer the questions on Facebook. Answer the questions on Google+. Plus. Twitter, and everything else. That is what social media is about. And that's why I'm posting this video on YouTube. And just in the future, make sure the Creative Cloud is not interfering with the software. A lot of us have work to do, whether it's for paid work or just for ourselves, we want to complete the projects and we don't want to have to deal with the issues that you have with the Creative Cloud. This wasn't supposed to be a harsh video. I don't want to make it sound like I hate Adobe because I don't. I really like the software and I think they're a great company. But for an issue like this, I spent a lot of time reading about it because I wanted to get educated about what was going on. If you watch my other videos, you know I said I was not going to use the Creative Cloud. I just don't trust the company to run servers to interact with software and my materials. I like my stuff on my own computer. If I can do that, I want to do it that way. So just don't mess around with the software so I can actually use it and have all the presets. If you have problems with your software and there's no other solution, go to a clean install and that means remove the program. We use the cleanup script that Adobe offers. I'll post a link in the description for that and that totally removes the software from your computer and do another install and then activate it. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. Post them in the comments. Any questions about this channel, my tutorials, about web design, about Adobe software, whatever it is, post them in the comments below and your question might be in the next Ask Adobe Using. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.